and welcome. My name is Bailey Moss, and in today's video, I'll be showing how to use the Documents Core Pack Template Designer to create and test a simple quote template. All right, first thing you're going to want to do is open up Word. And of course, one prerequisite for designing a template is to have our um, Documents Core Pack Client Template Designer installed, and we have I'll be creating a separate video for that, as well as we have multiple blog articles and documentation on our website. So once you've got it, you'll, we'll start with a blank document here. And then what you'll notice is on the tabs, we have an MSCRM-addons.com tab. So we'll go ahead and navigate there. And the first thing you'll notice is there's several options outside of Word. So when you're saving a template or opening a template, that's going to be stored in the Dynamics database. So this is saving back to Dynamics so that it can be used by, by end users. Either, And these templates can be used via our one-click actions, workflow, or flow. Um, so yeah, so so first thing to do to create this template is to hit insert mail merge fields. And what this will do is open up a um, toolbar for available fields and uh, relationships as well as lookup fields. Um, but the first thing to do is define your entity type. And one thing to note here is that once defined, this cannot be changed. So you can't use a quote template for something like um, cases or, or, or vice versa. So the first thing I'm going to do here is select quotes and what you'll notice is it loads all available fields on that entity so these are going to be all of the available standard fields on the entity as well as lookup fields so yeah so I'll go and get started first thing I want to to add is going to be the customer info so I'll just put a quick tab here and I know this isn't going to be the prettiest um, document but you can change it because it's based in Word you can add any formatting um, really make it as pretty as you'd like so I'll go here and say, I'll go ahead and enter the account name. So we'll go down to um, lookup fields and related relationships, and we'll say potential customer account. So I want that account name to insert. You can either select and hit insert field, or you can also double click. So that's inserted that field. Next, I want the account's address. So I'm just going to use the address block or composite from Dynamics. And there you go. So I just double click that. And the next item I'm going to add is the quote number. So I'll just say quote number and go back up and we'll look for quote. And you can also, of course, search these fields if you have an entity with, with quite a large number of fields. So I'll go to quote ID and then the created on date of the quote, just to add a little more info. So we'll go ahead and go created on. All right, from there, we can go ahead and start inserting the table. So what this is going to be is a dynamic table. That way, so as many products as you have, it will expand to that level. Um, so to add, and because this is a related entity, we're going to go into our additional tab and add relationship slash entity. Um, one thing to note here is that we do have predefined global relationships. So this would actually show quote products. Um, but instead, I'm just going to manually create a new relationship within my template. So from here, you'll see it's like relationships, and then we'll define we want to go from quotes to quote products. So we got there, and this is going to be all fields available on quote products. So from here, we want to define what fields we want to bring in into our table. So I'm going to go ahead and select I want the product line item amount, and then I want the quantity, the product name, and then the price per unit. So, so that's really all the fields that I, I feel is necessary for a simple quote. Additionally, you can keep, there's no limit on relationships that you can go deep. So if I wanted to go from quote product to product details, I could go here and add um, one step further and dive into quote product. In this case, it's not necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel on here, but we will have another deep dive into uh, designing templates and relationships. All right, so once that's selected, you can also add filters. You can set sorting um, based on attributes, set ascending or descending. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. And what you'll notice is it's populated the fields I selected, and these are going to be for the quote products on the right side. Um, so yeah, so now it's time to create the table. It's very simple. So all we need to do is double click the field, and I'm going to start with quantity. And then it asks you if you want to create a table. So you, with uh, related fields, you can either insert as a table, insert a list with a delimiter, or insert the first related record. Um, in this case, I want to insert a new table. I want a table with a header. I want to split the headers. And I want four columns. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. 
And from there, we'll go ahead and insert the rest of the columns. So, so we've got quantity. I'll do product name, price per unit, and then the total amount of the product line item. And then additionally, we can add some, some text here. So we'll just do quantity, and this is just static text. Quantity um, products price per unit and amount. Additionally, I know this is spaced out a little too tight for my liking, so I'll go ahead and add a space. And as mentioned, because this is Word, you do have all the formatting capabilities of Word. Um, so you can change table styles, things like that. The next thing I'm going to do is add a total amount field. So you can use a calculated function within Documents Core Pack, or since the quote total is actually on the quote record, we can just grab it there. Um, for formatting sake, I'll just insert a standard word table here, and that way so it all lines up, and then I can remove the borders. borders. So I'll do um, quotes total, and go ahead and justify right for that. And then in here, I'll go back to the standard relationship and look up total amounts as the field. So we'll do total amount. And then just to make it a little prettier, I will actually remove all borders. So no borders. So I'll highlight and no borders. And we'll go ahead and make this bold as well. So just to give you an idea that you can use all, all word formatting. Um, and I'll go ahead and bold this, bold this. Another great option and functionality of Documents Core Pack templates is that you can set um, decimal places. So for anything where it's a numeric field, you can set formatting. So quantity, I want to make sure this is a whole number. So I'll go to right click and go to field properties. And then I'll say format. I just want standard one, two, three, four format. You can also set culture if it's something like a, um, a currency. So in this case, it doesn't need to be set. Um, then the price per unit, I will say, I know this is US dollars, so I'll go, and this is another way to access field properties, just to go back to the MSCRM add-ons tab with the field selected and select field properties. All right, and for the price per unit, since it's a currency, or currency amount, we're going to use a separate format or a dollar amount format. So I'll just use that. Additionally, if you have multiple currencies or multiple currencies are being leveraged in your Dynamics instance, you can set the culture for a specific field. Um, so whether that's dollar amount, Canadian dollars, euros, um, or otherwise, but in this case, it's not necessary. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. And then I'll set the same thing up for the base amount, which is also a currency field. So I'll go to field properties here and set the format as that. And yeah, so that's set up the table. The final step on this simple quote template is going to be setting the document name. So that way, when it's generated, you can also specify um, what the document name is, is set to. So I'll go to advanced template settings here. And then the first option is document name and subject. Um, if you're using email content, you can set the subject separately as well. Um, but yeah, so, so first thing I'm going to do is there is a syntax. So it's going to be an apostrophe. And then we're going to go with quotes. And this can be set dynamically, of course. So we'll do quote space dash space and then another apostrophe. So it, Anything in those apostrophes will be um, static. And then I'm gonna add plus, and then just the quote ID. So the quote number again, and okay. So that's it, the template's done. I'm gonna go ahead and save it back. And as mentioned, you wanna hit save template, um, which saves it back to the Dynamics 365 database um, or your Power Apps database. And I'll just give this a quick name for the template itself. And I'll just say demo quote one. And then, yeah, so, so now it's been saved back, we can also test it. it. It can be test within Dynamics or directly within Word, which is a great feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit choose data to test the data to, to use it against. Um, and I'll go ahead and hit search here. You can also use save views. And I'll just, luckily I don't have that many quotes, so I'll just select a quote that I know and test it against. All right, and that's it. You can see it's brought in the, comp the account name, um, address block, quote number, created on date, the quantities, products, names, price per unit, and the totals. Obviously, I didn't set the uh, currency field for the quote total, but that can be adjusted. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it.
Um, thank you for watching. My contact information along with a link to our website and free trial information can be found in the description below. If you have any questions regarding further use cases, uh, template questions, or pricing, please don't hesitate to reach out. All right, thanks.